Hello again. Let's take a look. We're in day three. Today is 12-16. Okay, so number 51. Jim's offered a job as a computer program programmer at $65,000 per year. Another company offered him $1,200 a week. Which one is the better job? Well, this one, there's 52 weeks in the year, so you've got to multiply by 52. So 1,200 times 52. He's better off going with this one. Okay, 52. <clears throat> Roland had 10,500 in medical. He's allowed to deduct anything that exceeds 7.5% of his gross income. His gross income is 31000 How much can he claim? Well, if you take 31,000 times 0 0.075, you get that. Okay, so in excess of that, you're going to take minus 10,500. And when you do that, you can deduct 81.75. For medical. Okay, 53. Okay, so on 53, let's see what's going on here. All right, this person's driving on a snow covered road with a drag factor of 0.2. So, drag factor 0.2. She breaks for a deer. She leaves two marks, a 52-foot mark and a 6-foot mark. What's the minimum speed she could be going? Well, you've got to write down this formula. So it's going to be the square root, and this is for the skid. It's actually the miles, how fast they're going. So we're going to take 30 times the skid. Now, the skid here, you're going to have to add these up and divide by 2. You've got to do the average. So 52 plus 6 divided by 2. So you're going to use 29 right here times the drag factor, which is 0.2. Let's see what we get. So we're going to take 29 times 30 times 0.2, press equal, hit shift, and then square root. Seems a little slow there. Um, that one right there, 56, is a 13.3. So 13.3 is the answer on the sheet. Okay, so not very fast at all, but that's how you would do that problem, I think. Okay? All right, let's keep moving. Number 54. Make sure you memorize this formula here. She works part-time at a bakery. She gets $7.50 an hour. In the past five days, she has these on her time for So $7.50 an hour. And 3.1 or 3.3 hours, 2.9 hours, 4 hours, 3.5 hours, and 2.1 hours. 
Okay, so what you're going to do is add up her hours times how much she gets paid per hour. Okay, that one should be pretty easy, 54. Let's go to 55. Okay, so this one is a money market at 4.25% and it's compounded annually. Or yearly. I'm going to give you the answer here. This one is A, and that is 9,449.40. So you're going to memorize that one. There's a compound formula, but I'm going to give you that one. 56. This one is a repeat of the skid mark with the gear. So this is a repeat. Let's just go over the formula. It's miles per hour equals the square root of 30, which is a constant, times the drag factor, times the skid, or the average of the skid, if there's a few of them. Okay? And they use different letters, but that's basically it. 57. All right, so this, pays, this person pays $47 a month. Uh, semi-monthly, so let's say semi-monthly. Okay, so semi-monthly means twice a month, right? And they pay 15%, or that is 15% of the total cost of the insurance. His employer pays the rest. What's the yearly cost of his insurance? Okay, so first of all, if this is semi-monthly, so that means he's going to pay that twice a month, okay? So you're going to take, there's 12 months in a year, so times 2. So you're going to take 47 times 24, rather, and that's going to give you an amount, okay? So basically what you're going to say is, 15% of what is equal to $47? Okay, let's use this formula right here. 15% of what is $47? Now, to solve that, you're going to divide by 15%. So, X equals 47 divided by 0 0.15. Okay, so let's see what that is. 47 divided by 0 0.15 is going to give me 313.33, okay? And that right there, you have to do 24 of those payments here. So times 24 because it's semi-monthly. So times 24 and the cost it's going to be 7,520, and that is the answer, 7,520. This is the formula you want to use right here. All right, let's go to 58. Fifty-eight is a piecewise, so copy this down. They're going to advertise. Okay, and it's $22 when it's less than or equal to four lines, or it's $22 plus 3.5 when it's greater than four lines. Okay, well, she wants seven lines, so write that down. So put seven lines. Well, if she wants seven lines, you're going to use this formula right here. Okay, so scratch this one out. You're not going to use it. So it's going to be 22 for the first four lines plus 3.5 times 7 minus 4, which equals 3. So this should be the answer. So it's going to be 3.5 times 
three, and then plus twenty two. So it should be thirty two fifty. And thirty two fifty is the answer. Okay. All right, let's keep moving. Fifty nine. This one is, I think, a logarithmic, and this is a five thousand dollar deposit at three point eight percent interest. You're going to have to memorize this one. Eighteen years. Uh, when he's 40 years old, how much money is going to be in there? And the answer is going to be B, $11,535.50. So this one is a given. You're going to have to remember that one. Let's go to number 60. All right, so on number 60, this is another skid mark. All right, so the skids are 85, 92, 88, and 90. So you're going to add that up. You have a drag factor of 0.8. The brake efficiency is 0.8, or 80%. And they want to know how fast the minimum speed. Well. Remember, it's the square root of 30 times your drag factor times your brake efficiency, if they give you that. The brakes are not 100%. And you've got to multiply by the average of the skid. So you've got to add these up and divide by 4. Let's see what that is, and let's finish this one up. So clear it. 85 plus 92 plus 88 plus 9, 0 equals that, divided by 4, and I get 88.75. We're going to multiply all of this, so times 0 0.8, times 0 0.8, again, times 30, press equals, hit shift, square root, and I get 41.3, and for this one, it is 41.3. Make sure you memorize that formula. On the next one, and I'm just going to show it to you at this point, and you can pause the video and copy it if you want. This one right here, um, it's a stem and leaf, and down here it tells you the code. So 10-7 represents 107. So this would be 104 right here. So this is going to be 95 plus 98 plus 99 plus 99 plus 99. That's this top row. This is going to be plus 104 plus 107 plus 108. And what you have to do is you got to go through all of these. Okay, this is 140 right here. You got to go through all of these and add them up, and then you got to go ahead and actually it says median, so you got to line them up, and then you got to pick the one in the middle. <clears throat> Remember, if there's one in the middle, pick it. If there's not one in the middle, then you have to average the two in the middle. So you got to add up the two in the middle and divide by two. So be careful with that one. Uh, 61. I'll give you the answer anyhow. Uh, it should be 115 if you did it right. That's the median. Okay, number 62, I'm going to give you that one. At this point, when you go home, you want to look at this. 63 is a given. It's A. So some of these you're just going to memorize. 64, there's the problem. For the first 100, she makes 50 cents, and then anything over that, she makes 75 cents. So 35 of them are going to be at 75 cents. This one is a repeat, so you got to memorize that one. It's three years. This one right here, um, you have to, let's see, this is the annual amount, and the question is for monthly insurance, okay? 
So you got to divide that by 12, and then each month they add two dollars. Okay, so it should be 84 dollars on that one. This one right here, it doesn't look like it's real clear on the problem, um, but it should be A. <coughs> Let's finish this up. 68. You can work on these on your own. There's the formula right there. I think we did this one. Number 71, I'm going to give it to you, is A. Here's 72. And 72 should be A as well. Looks like you got to do uh, slope here. Okay. Let's finish it up. Here's 73 tax table. <coughs> 73 should be D. If you do it right. 74 is there. I'll let you figure that one out. 75 I'll give you is A. I think we have that one already. 76. Is D. Alright, now I'm just going to show you the rest at this point. So at least you can try and work them on your own before you actually test. Okay. So it's all on video at this point. I think that rounds it out. All right, I'll just give you a few more answers. So you won't have them all, but I'll give you a few more answers. And this should knock out a big chunk. All right, well, good luck on your exam.